Right now, Hurricane Ian is coming through here, and we've gotten a lot of rain. And last night, the winds were, were pretty bad and pretty rough. And I uh, heard things blowing around, so hopefully things are, everything's okay out here. We'll just have to see what kind of damage we have. It is nice to see that the greenhouse is okay. Kept having visions of the greenhouse being destroyed. So thankfully it's fine. But let's check on the other animals and everything around the homestead. Looks like our egg laying flock of chickens are looking good here and everyone's doing well. And then we got our Delawares. They're just hanging out in the rain. But those others over there are taking shelter under the chick shawl. I'd be like those staying out of the rain. Oh, and then right here we got messy hair, I don't care. <laughs> that rain is messing up your perm. <laughs> Look at those feathers, they're wet. Glad everyone's doing well over here. And then over there, our goats. Everyone's looking fine over there too. Taking cover in their shelter out of the rain. And the shelter looks good, no damage there. Happy to see that. And we'll head on over to our turkeys over here. They look good, Micah. They just need to be moved. Look at all of them. <laughs> They're tough. Just hanging out in the rain here. They're even harder core than the Delaware are over there. <laughs> oh. Our heritage meat birds here are needing rhinos and Bielefelders and our African geese. Yeah, the rain is not bothering them at all. Uh oh, what do we have down here by the duck? What was that this time? It was a dead guinea. Where at? Right here. Oh, I see it. What in the world? Oh, man. That's crazy. Man. I saw Cyrus was near it, too. What? Oh, that's no good. Hopefully the dog didn't kill it. Man, it would not be good. Well, I'm going to check on the other ones down here. So this is not looking good. Fence is partially down, and we have a whole bunch of ducks out. And this is the area where I thought I heard some commotion last night. Thought panels were blown all over. Oh, now everything looks okay. Hey, Sailor. Yep. Sir, how are things going over here? Well, the fence was knocked down, and the ducks got out. So I'm pretty sure something from in the fence could have scared them and they trampled over the fence. So that's, what, that's what it looks like. I think maybe the, the weather last night could have scared them too with all the wind. Are we missing any animals? We are, There's one dead guinea and two are missing. Oh man, that's not good. So how many guineas do we have left? Eight. And how many did we start with in here? Twelve. Oh man. That's not good. Mommy's not going to be happy about that, is she? Mm-mm. 
get the off the key here. She had left her sweatshirt. Like part of a guinea right there. That's not good. Daddy. Hop in there and see if you can cut it off. Keep going to the fence. Don't walk on the law, walk on the ground. Yeah. It's in there with these chickens. If you decide, squat down. You got it. Come on. It's you, buddy. You got it. It's there. Keep, keep pushing going forward. forward. You got to keep pushing forward. Hands. hands ready. It's in there. It's right in there. Squat down, Micah. Squat down. And squat. Decide. You, man. Uh, I got it by the feather. All right, grab it. Good job. Bring it on through. Yeah, Woo, way to go. Told you it was you. Uh -huh. So, last one. Get two. It ran in the woods here. Sailor, where are you? Sailor! Oh man, they're way up there. Man, look at all that mud there. A lot of rain coming through. Oh, I see guineas. Oh, the little tiny things. See the little white thing? Man, they're way up here. Alright. Well, wait, what is the goal here? Best bet is get a back over the fences. I agree, because this is way far away. Okay, easy peasy, little squeezy. All right, Not hands easy, out, walk together. Hands out, walk together. Oh, Probably shoot. Fly. Hands out, let's walk together. Hands out. Come on, Micah, you can come too. Mike's quick. All right, come on, we got to get them way back down there. Oh, come on. Hands out. They're scared. They're really scared. Oh. Come on. Come on. Watch your face. Here you go. Hands out. Hands out, everybody. Keep your hands out. Yep. Hands out. Just another thing on the farm. Good job, Micah. Doing a good job, buddy. So as the wind and rain continued from the hurricane, things were a lot more cozy on the inside. And thankfully, God allowed us to survive this hurricane with practically no damage at all. So that's a nice blessing to have. It and sure is. Going through a hurricane in a yurt is a slightly different experience probably than most traditional houses because you do hear the wind more you do hear the rain more you and feel a lot more vulnerable to the elements we shall say but we've never 
encountered a problem like wind has never been a problem but you know whenever it's going over your roof and your roof is going brrr, <laughs> it makes you feel like oh no but we've never ran into a problem and with the yurt being circular a lot of people don't realize that that makes it more aerodynamic for the wind to go around and away from it's not like it's hitting something flat it does have a curvature to go around and it, it does make it more suitable for being in a storm compared to something like a trailer and believe it or not that was not our first experience going through a hurricane i can still remember the first hurricane that we went through living here in a yurt it was a lot of wind and a lot of rain. I mean, a lot of rain. It was flooding all over the place. I think it was something like we, we it was either somewhere between eight to 12 inches of rain within like two days. The pond was so, it had to have been at least six feet up the bank of where it normally is. And that's with it overflowing like all the time. I've never seen the pond that house. Crazy. And just a number of days prior to that hurricane and finding out that a hurricane was coming, we just had moved this Harbor Freight greenhouse into this new area. And we were getting ready to start setting it up, but we found out that a hurricane was coming through. And we were more concerned about us going through the hurricane and our yard and then having the animals than we were with the greenhouse. And thankfully we were fine in the yurt, but through that hurricane, well, let's just say that Harbor Freight greenhouse, it didn't make it. The hurricane just destroyed it and it was, man, it was just trash after that. You heard the wind like pick it up and set it down and it pretty much collapsed on itself. Yeah, yeah, you could hear it just in the air and then crash and you're like, I know what that was. Yeah. Not too long after that, we were able to upgrade to a caterpillar tunnel where we were able to grow all of our different plant starts for our market garden. And things were looking good until. Wow, this is absolutely ridiculous. Ridiculously crazy. I don't even know what to say right now. At least some of it's been, hopefully I can fix it. But wow. I knew last night when I heard this just freak wind come through and then I heard a boom. Something wasn't right. The storm was just crazy. Lightning. Uh, thankfully, it looks like this is the only thing that was damaged. Everything was fine. No damage to the yurt at all. And we've been through a number of different storms here. We have a lot of gusts of wind that happen from time to time, multiple times a year, I would say. And it's not uncommon for us to have 50 mile an hour winds. And I even have heard that we've had 85 miles per hour. I don't know how true that is, but I have heard that that has happened here. So it's definitely not uncommon for us to go through some of those things here while living in a yurt. Now, I'm not saying that I want to be in a category four or five hurricane living in a yurt. I don't want to be living in anything going through that. I don't want to be far away from those areas when a tornado or a category five, four or five hurricanes come through. I don't want to be near those areas at all. And when people hear that, you know, there's a hurricane coming for the Carolinas and they think about us, you know, we actually live about four hours from the coast. So we're more further inland. So we don't necessarily get like the really, really high winds that are associated with hurricanes, but we normally get a lot of rain. And around here that causes flooding and the ground saturated. And even the winds that are like 40 miles to 60, 70 miles an hour winds, they knock down a lot of trees. And that is what causes the most damage around here and the, the flooding and people getting you know stuck in different situations. So um, that's what really happens around here with hurricanes. So we've been okay living in a yurt for those of you who worry about us in a yurt when you hear about a hurricane coming to the Carolinas. Now I'm also not saying that you should put a yurt on the beach or something like that. <laughs> I'm not saying that at all. Unless you're prepared to take it down and move it whenever yeah. a hurricane's coming. So I'm not saying that you can survive that at all, so keep that in mind. <laughs> I'm not doing it and I'm not encouraging anybody else to do it. But through our experiences, living in a yurt, going through hurricanes and heavy, severe thunderstorms, 
Yeah. Our biggest problem has actually been things on the outside with our animals. It has been a lot rougher on them. And speaking of them, you're probably wondering about those guineas that we were dealing with earlier. Well, we were able to retrieve all but one of them. That white one, it got away and ran into the woods somewhere. And man, it had a day, let me tell you. <laughs> Well, this part didn't get recorded, but Josiah said, hey mom, the guinea's down there by the pond. So I said, well, come on, let's go get it. So Josiah and I went down there to the pond and we were trying to get it close to the fence, to run it into the fence, to put it in the fence. And I get down there and it gets close to the edge of the pond and I get close to it and it jumps in the pond. I'm like, I didn't know guineas swam, but you did, now, now you know guineas can swim. Man, that would have been great to see on videos. <laughs> she grabbed his camera and said, look at this guinea swimming in the pond. Well, so it's cold outside. The guinea's swimming in the pond and then I'm looking for it and then I don't see it. And I'm thinking, has the thing drowned? Did it just go under? And I don't know where it is. Poor guinea had a rough day. And it's pouring down rain and I said, Josiah let's go back inside and it'll be fine it'll be whatever happens happens so we come back inside I get back to work and a little while later Josiah comes in holding this guinea that's just soaking wet whoa, whoa. what you got there little friend you found it <laughs> you were able to get it from the woods yep oh man great job wow it's all wet big time Probably scared too. Yeah. And dry it off. Mm -hmm. All right. And when they talk about drying this guinea off, what they both really mean is here, take it to your mama and let her do it. You should remember this. We spent a lot of time doing this. It's like a reunion. It is. Just like old times, right? Yeah, when I was washing guinea butts, now I'm just drying them off. Oh. Poor thing, it's been traumatized. I think it likes it. It's probably bringing back memories of when it had thank you butt and you were <laughs> blowing it off, blowing well, it off. Well, look, it's holding its wing it. out so I can, the air can get in there. It's like guinea spa day. <laughs> It's all fluffed back out now. It's actually sitting down, which I'm shocked. Normally they're trying to jump away, but. It's the calmest I've ever seen a guinea. For real, must be exhausted. All dry. And then after you dried off the guinea, we reunited it with the rest of the flock. But it was not fun explaining to you that some of the guineas had died the night before when the hurricane was coming through. Well, it wasn't fun listening to it either. You know how much you really like those guineas. But Micah had a really, really interesting theory on what happened to him. You gotta hear it. Uh, uh, a, a little cat, no, a big cat with a little paw, uh, jumped on the fence and got two guineas. Uh, Cyrus took one and brought it over there, and and the other one he the the cat big cat ate in the fence. What kind of big cat? A mountain lion or a cheetah or what? What was thinking? Mountain lion. Okay, interesting theory. Thank you, Michael. <laughs> but as interesting as his theory <laughs> was, I don't think that that is what happened. No. Here is what I think happened. All right, so we don't know exactly what happened to the guineas, but here is my theory. So what I think is the fragment of guinea that was left inside the fence, an owl swooped down, started eating up and tearing up the guinea, and as the owl swooped down, ducks got scared, rushed over the fence, and a couple guineas got out with the ducks, and the ducks went out, and they were mostly fine, but something got the guineas. Uh... I think it could have been one of our dogs, or it could have been something else like a raccoon. But, looks like it could have been the dog, because Josiah said that he saw the dog eating on some of the guinea. Now Mike's rendition of what happened is probably more plausible than a mountain lion. So, we're gonna go with that. 
I, mean, I think probably the best thing to do is to get some kind of video security camera system to be able to monitor and see what actually is happening out there because we also lost a duck not too long ago yeah. from a similar type of thing it looked similar to the guinea that was missing parts yeah so we'll have to see but overall to have gone through a hurricane yet again and only to lose three guineas from some kind of predator and not the hurricane i i, I consider it a blessing uh, but each time that we go through <laughs> these experiences, <laughs> we do learn lessons. As difficult as some of the anxiety may be, because I can just, every time we go through a storm or a hurricane, I'm thinking of things blind, flowing, flying in the air, greenhouses flipping over and breaking. But we do learn lessons, and some of the lessons that I've learned from the greenhouses <laughs> that we've gone through is our most recent greenhouse has been securely concreted in the ground. And thankfully, it hasn't had any issues. No. Thankfully, no. thankfully. But overall, I must say, I prefer not to have any more Hurricane versus Yurt sequels. Yeah, <laughs> no. let's not do that. <laughs> so, <laughs> no more. <laughs>